Alrighty guys, this is LOL Freddy again, and I literally am making this video right after I made my Bonzi Buddy 2017 video, showing you guys Bonzi Buddy, and I have this sneaking suspicion that Bonzi Buddy screwed up my computer. Um, as I was editing the video, I haven't even posted it yet, because I can't finish editing it, because it's taking forever to not only process it and convert it into an uploadable format after I finish um, editing it, but what I'm trying to like click and basically do some minor editing, you know, stitching um, clips together. It's taken a very long time. And whenever I try to preview a specific section of the video, it takes like five seconds for it to even allow me to preview that specific part of the clip. And that wasn't like that before. Before it was snappy, it was instant. So I have, I think something's going on on my computer. So yeah, this video is going to be either a funny one or it's gonna be it's gonna turn to a how-to video how to remove malware if you suspect the program you recently installed is causing your computer to slow down so yeah uh, let's do this let's get right into it shall we yeah let's do it okay so first things first I already deleted the uh, installer from my downloads folder that's gone um, this little guy right here that's the installer itself so it came packed in a, in a, in a RAR file and a RAR file dot RAR RAR so you gotta use WinZip or WinRAR for that so it's compressed pretty much so that's deleted let's delete this because this is the actual installer uh, put it in the trash can for now recycle bin uh, and yeah as you can see I have three icons of Bonzi buddy look at that it's three icons of that so we need to clean the computer up so first things first um, I don't like to use the built-in Windows uninstaller to remove um, potential malware programs you know if it's something that I trust like Nvidia Google Chrome uh, I don't know, whatever else, Steam or any other game like Counter-Strike. Uh, well, you can't really do Counter-Strike because you just uninstall it from Steam. But you know what I mean. The, um, programs that I trust, I'll just use Windows Uninstaller. But for these bad boys, I'm going to use uh, a little a little some, some, a little some, some. So I'll go to my tools folder here. And let's see. We're going to be using Revo Uninstaller. And I have the portable one, so let's just open that. Yes, I would like to open it okay and boom look at that look at all that all right so let's look for bonzi buddy if it is if it's even in here if it's even in here there it is four three two that's bonzi buddy let me just double check to make sure that there's no other things that were installed with it that needs to go away 620 that's today so that needs to go away and this needs to go away so let's remove this learn out and house p house by true voice american english and bonzi buddy so let's do the, the l's first here it is so double click to uninstall it's creating a restore point standard practice this does it you can disable that but hey, whatever yes i would like to uninstall it oh error on installing it you see that oh so let's do advanced do scan see what what this left behind display name bum, bum, bum. so let's take care of these things here from the registry files uh, delete yes finish okay nothing else left behind and now let's get rid of Bonzi double click it another restore point and no uninstall okay advance scan for any leftovers Ooh, whoa look at all this bonzi i thought i could trust you you destroyed my computer all right boom boom delete all of these right here this 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 all of these all of these now that's the problem with wired headsets the wire gets annoying eh, price, small price to pay i guess uh delete that uh -huh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. look at all these things that bonzi left behind even after supposedly i un uninstalled it Bonzi, you betrayed me, you little purple ape. 
All right, delete that. Yes, nothing else is left behind. Next, oh, program files, look at that. Delete all these. Yes. And dun, 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 dun. That should be it. They should be cleaned out. Let's refresh this. Yep, they're gone. All right, and then my next favorite thing to do is to open up Malwarebytes. If you haven't used Malwarebytes before, it's an actually really awesome malware removal tool scanner. It's free. You can always get the upgraded version, but you don't really need it if you're going to be just removing malware with the scan. So let's scan. Usually it doesn't update on its own. So let's check in for updates. Nothing. Doing our pre-scans. Scan the memory. Make sure nothing's creeping in there. All right. And then do have a M.2 SSD. So these scans don't take very long at all. Now on a hard drive, it would be a different story. But on SSDs, you have faster read and write speeds. So this should really help. There you go. Heuristic scans. Analysis. Nothing left. Cool. So I was able to remove Bonzi using Revon installer. And Malwarebytes didn't find anything. So we can close that. And as good measure, I like to use CCleaner. Uh, okay, that's fine. That's fine. And we're going to run the cleaner. I don't really want to analyze it. Let's just run it. And C Cleaner is pretty cool. It just gets rid of all these different things that are left behind, like um, misplaced um, files from a program that you recently installed or have uninstalled, um, temp files, anything like that. It actually cleans up your computer. Look at that. I got almost four gigs of space just from doing that and I like to run it multiple times because sometimes something gets left behind but not this time see so we're fine oh yeah, that's fine log files whatever so that's pretty much it for a quick malware removal and manually remove the software from your computer including the registry files and any other files left behind you saw that it Bonzi took a lot even though it was uninstalled still was a lot of stuff left behind so for good measure, what I like to do is reboot the computer afterwards. Um, I'm going to pause the uh, recording and then once I'm rebooted back in, I'll turn it back on and then I'll recheck again with Malwarebytes and I'll do one final scan with CCleaner and that should be it. I'll make sure to check my processes to make sure there's nothing lurking around and my CPU usage to see if there's anything kind of wonky, okay? And I might even go a little bit deeper and open up a program that's pretty neat that lets you actually check all of your startup uh, objects on the computer and everything that's running. And that's pretty awesome. I'll show you that when I get back from this reboot, okay? So, yeah, give me a few seconds and I'll be right back, okay? Let me stop this recording. Boop! <laughs> all right i am back from that little brief reboot so let's continue with this bonzi buddy removal thing all right so i already basically manually removed bonzi buddy from my computer i ran malware bytes no malware was detected ran c cleaner cleaned everything up c cleaner did empty my recycle bin so that's good that's where the little uninstaller was so i didn't have to do that and uh, let's carry on. First things first, let me check my startup objects here. Um, to get to the screen task manager, a shortcut, control shift escape, takes you straight to your task manager. And on Windows 10, you can check your startup here. So that's good, 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 good. None of these are bad. All right, cool beans, so that's fine. Nothing here that's not supposed to be there. Cool beans, so that's cool. Now to finish up on this removal, let's open up my tools one more time and open up the, where did I put that file? Open hardware monitor, prime 95. Ah, oh, I'm missing something. I'm missing my, um, my thingy. Huh. Damn. Uh, let me let me pause the video here, the recording, so I can get my uh, my program that I use to check my startup objects. 
for some reason I don't have it I think you know what I don't even need to to pause the video I can get my keys I have a thumb drive on my keys so let me get that real quick let me get my keys Uh, am I still in the shot? Yes, it appears that I am still in the shot. So that's good. All right, so I have this little guy right here. Check it out. Oop, it's a little thumb drive on my keys. It looks like a key. Woo! I think it's like 32 gigs, so it's not bad. It's either 32 or 16. So I'm going to plug this in. Let me plug it here on. That's plugged in. And... I don't know what that Avast sandbox was. I don't remember what that was. I'm not using that. Avast is bad. I don't know what why that. Let me check what is this. I don't even know. Anyways, I'm not gonna worry about that. Let me minimize. Let me minimize the um, OBS there. Tools. All right. So what I like to use here is, you know, I could have run a Norton Power Eraser and a TDSS Killer. Let's see if there's any other malware. Eh, that's okay. That will be fine. What was it? I think it's Process Explorer. Yeah. So Process Explorer 64. Let's open that. It's gonna take a minute. <clears throat> there it is. Minimize these windows because they're blinding me. Alright, so <clears throat> Process Explorer lets you see every process on your computer. So I'm just gonna do a quick scan here. So if I see anything out of the uh, ordinary. Believe it or not, I used to work for Geek Squad. Laugh at me if you want to, I know. And we used to use similar tools on how to clean all this stuff up. Um, so malware removal and stuff like that is my is fun. I like to do it. That's what I used to do all day, every day for almost three years. Um, I know it's boring watching me do this, guys. I know, bear with me. <clears throat> nothing out of the ordinary here that I can see so that's good system auto processes runtime broker that exe let me let me just double check that if you don't know what something is, you can just Google it, right? Runtime broker process. Because I remember um, Bonzi Buddy did install something. I, th I think it was called Runtime Broker. Not sure. Permissions. Okay. Mm hmm. Look at that. Um, so it's normal to be there. But a faulty app might cause Runtime Broker to use up to a gigabyte of RAM or more. Let's double check my usage here. Memory. Again, Control Shift Escape takes you to, the, to your task manager. Okay, it doesn't look like that's happening in my system. Mm, good. The only thing eating up my memory right now a little bit is OBS, and that's expected. It takes uh, a lot to run. Okay, that's fine. Out of the 17% uh, of my 16 gig of RAM, so that's fine. So nothing wonky. We're good. Again, it never hurts to Google something you might think is suspicious. You never know. It never hurts to do that. What's this? Process XP, sys internals process, sysinternals.com, sysinternals process. Let's check that out. Process Explorer. Oh. That's what I'm using right now. Okay. Durr. No wonder I didn't recognize it. Because it's the software itself. i never seen that before. I was like, what the heck is that? And you see that? Like, I, when I close Chrome, it showed Chrome, and then I closed it off, being red. 
that's what's so cool about this um this program if you have an application that's like opening and closing this will show you what it is and you can actually right click and go to the location i believe or you can just figure uh, let's see anyways you can pretty much know what it is and you can search it and remove it yourself and if it's something in here you can actually um delete it if you want it you can kill the process and you can delete it just as long as it's not like a main thing in your system but i believe if you press there's a way to do it there's a way to do it. i think you either press the delete key or something but it just depends on what it is but you can actually delete a process from this so anyways i'm not gonna get really delve into that system is normal so that's good oh this is cool too you can take this and drag it to a window and it takes you to what that process is see that so let's say obs is up trippy 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 and it was an application that i didn't know what it was you literally take this guy right here and drag it to this and it takes you straight to the process itself so if you're getting an annoying pop-up you can't close out you can use this to see what it is anyways that's enough for process explorer i definitely recommend it it's awesome so that was good that i was able to show you that to you guys and i believe my system is pretty much good to go bonzi buddy is removed um i cleaned the computer by scanning it and i manually removed bonzi buddy and the other thing that was left behind with it i deleted all the registry files that were left behind even after uninstalling and that's pretty much it so yeah if you do choose to download and install bonzi buddy be careful it does install a lot of stuff in your computer and it slows it down and my computer is actually pretty beefy compared to, to most consumer computers anyways so if i notice a slowdown on this you will definitely notice a slowdown on other computers especially laptops and whatnot so be careful download at your own risk if you know what to do like i you know if you know what to do like how i know what i'm doing basically you can clean your computer up no issues then sure go ahead take a risk right have fun in the uh in the wild side of things um, if you want to really play it safe and download Bonzi Buddy, you can use a, um, what's it called, a virtual machine and you'll be fine, or a computer you don't really care about, or you can even do a priority system restore and go back in time. But that's pretty much it. So yeah, thanks again for watching guys, I really appreciate it. Um, if you liked the video, feel free to th thumbs up. If you dislike the video, you can thumbs it down, boo. Um, again, if you want to, subscribe. I like to do videos like how-tos. Um, I like to stream video games. I like to basically do customizations to make games run a little bit better, things of that nature. So I like to keep my channel pretty much gaming and computer related. I do go geocaching sometimes and I, I sometimes post videos of that, but that's not the main thing of my channel. But again, thanks for watching. Be careful about Bonzi, buddy. That little purple ape betrayed me. Yeah, he, uh, he killed me. He stabbed me right in the heart or at least my computer anyways. Um, and that's pretty much it. So yeah, thanks for watching guys. And I hope this video was informative and hopefully you learned something new today. Okay. Alrighty. Anywho, stay cool and I'll see you guys later when I make another video. Okay. Take care. Bye. I'm going to stop the recording now.